Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is my new in beauty for May 2018. Every month I share with you new product launches or new products sent in to me that I'm excited to be testing out. And of course, every month I also do a huge beauty giveaway. And if you're a subscriber and a viewer, then you know the drill. Usually a tote bag filled with amazing skincare, beauty products, some makeup. This one's pretty heavy. One winner will win that and the giveaways open every month. So each month, stay tuned for New and Beauty. That's where I'll announce the giveaways. How to enter will be in the description box as well as at the end of the video with some preview of what's in here. There's tons of stuff every month that new brands are launching and I picked some of my favorites to share with you. So starting off, let's focus on Skincare. I'll probably jump from skincare to makeup back to skincare. I try to narrow this down because my videos get kind of long every month and I know, you know, some people like it, some people don't. The first thing that I've been really excited about and that I have been using is the Lancome Genifique Hydrogel Melting Mask. This is a new take on their Genifique serum, which is one of their most popular serums. I actually had never used the serum until these masks were sent to me. It also came with a full size of this Genifique serum. I have to say I'm loving it. It's very hydrating without being greasy or oily. It's just very nourishing to my skin and I feel lifted, plumped, and just younger and brighter. So these are concentrated versions of the Genifique Serum. It's a sheet mask. You apply it on your face and then you let it sit for anywhere between, I think 20, about 20 minutes, but they say you can do a 10 minute application before makeup and then your skin's definitely like really ready for the makeup. And then 20 minutes for um, like a, an enhanced uh, glow during your day and then 30 minutes for before bed to really let that good nutrients absorb in. I really enjoy this. So if you like the Genifique serums, I think you'll love these masks. If you haven't tried the Genifique serums, I think you'll like these masks because this was like my intro to the Genifique serums. You guys know I love my sunblocks and SPFs and sunscreens. So even when I am out a lot, I don't get too dark, but I love having a nice glow and a nice bronzed leg. So I've been using the Kula Tan. It's their Sunless Tan Firm lotion it's 70% organic and it's a gradual tanner this stuff is awesome it is not a gradual tanner in my opinion I feel like one use you notice a huge difference but I was pretty heavy-handed with it I love using this to maintain a self tan or I love using this to maintain a tan from vacation so I just got back from Mexico I am like the perfect shade right now and I want to maintain that so this I wipe from toes all the way up to chest and then I do a little bit on my uh, shoulders and my arms because this is where I get the most color anyways. Uh, I live in LA so that happens. Not streaky whatsoever. I do recommend washing your hands immediately after applying this and then taking a damp cloth and wiping over your toenails and any of those areas that might get a little too much color. That's how I typically avoid having weird splotches. Every so often I still have those, but this is relatively easy. It doesn't have any of that weird tanner smell. It smells really natural and coconutty, and they don't have any added fragrances, I don't believe, because it says natural pina colada scent. It also is very hydrating and nourishing for the skin, which I appreciate because sometimes I feel like my self tanners or gradual tanners aren't as hydrating, and then I feel like I'm sacrificing my hydration levels for my color. Highly encourage you guys to test this out if you're looking for a cleaner option although tan Lux, vita liberata a uh, mind tan they're all pretty clean tanning products if you guys were interested most of the tanning products i talk about are pretty clean kula obviously is like got their hands in on that market though and it is eco cert tan bronze skin you want to make sure you're smooth and hairless if you're into that you don't have to shave but i personally like to shave my legs this is the new eos shave cream for dry skin. I also brought the sensitive skin one with me to Arizona and Mexico. Unfortunately, I had to leave it in Mexico because I couldn't bring it back. Um, I just didn't have enough room. This is really lovely. It doesn't have any petrochemicals. There's no mineral oils. There's no uh, paraben, phthalate. It's cruelty-free as well. 
and it's just very nourishing and it also prevents your skin from getting razor burns and any nicks. It can be kind of heavy handed when I shave, I'm not that careful and this definitely protects those sensitive areas and avoids any razor bumps as well as um, any nicks and I get a really good clean shave and it's also very hydrating and soothing on my skin. There's a, there's a very light like, ma oh it smells like mango but it's got mango butter in it, so I don't think it's an added synthetic fragrance, which would be a good thing. There, It does say fragrance on the bottom, but that could just mean it's a natural fragrance. It doesn't bother me, and it doesn't irritate my skin. Typically, when I'm shaving, I can't have fragrances and things, and this has been great. There's a new skincare line that I've been wanting to test out, and it's called Ven. It's their Age Revival All-in-One Concentrate for All Skin Types. So this is going to replace everything including your essence your toner your serum and your moisturizer i'm not sure if it will actually do that for me but it's supposed to do that and it's supposed to be just like fuss free and all you have to do is wash your face and use this and then you're good to go and then during the day obviously use an spf it's clinically proven to penetrate deeply to hydrate skin for up to 24 hours visibly reduces fine lines and wrinkles improves the appearance of skin's elasticity and firmness brightens skin's appearance and minimizes discoloration smooth and soften the skin and it's free of parabens fragrances silicones phthalates mineral oil sulfates and color so the texture is like a very serum-y lotion there's really no scent to it it absorbs really quickly and if you look at my hands, like, I don't know if you can see the difference, but this one definitely looks smoother and more hydrated. This one's a little drier. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Kogendo Aqua Foundation. Well, they recently re-launched uh, the foundation, and they've improved the formula and improved the color range. So this is the Aqua Foundation. This is in the shade 123. This shade in 123 in the new formula is a true match to my skin tone. The previous shade of 123 was slightly pink, and this one is definitely more of a neutral slash like beigey undertone. They made the packaging a little bit taller, a little bit sleeker. Still got the pump. Still has the classic red bottom, which I enjoy. I have been testing out and really excited about the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Camo Drops. This is my favorite version of their Tiger Grass products. I also recently purchased the tube of it because that's been really soothing at night for me when I have irritation. The original one in the two, in the little tub, the one that like has the SPF in it, I didn't get along with that very well. But the Tiger Grass Drops work beautifully under makeup. It works beautifully over my sunblock. It works really beautifully under my sunblock as well and it just hides any of that redness I tend to have around here. It blends into a beigey undertone and it has almost like a mattifying poreless finish which is so beautiful under makeup and also if you're not wearing makeup it just gives your skin this nice finish which I appreciate because then I don't really have to wear as much makeup if I didn't want to wear any. It even looks great. There's a new brand I will be testing out. It's called Moonlit Skincare, and this is the Midnight Shift Overnight Facial Oil for Hydration Radiance. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and they don't have any PEGs, mineral oils, SLS fillers, artificial colors, and some synthetic fragrances. Really good quality lavender oil is good for me. That's just what I found has helped and it helps more than any like rash creams, cortisone creams, or steroid creams that I've been prescribed. So I definitely love good quality lavender oil and this is really good quality. So this has sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, lavender oil, vitamin E, ginseng, aloe vera, coffee, and papaya and it's jojoba oil based. So all of my favorite oils in one. Another new to me brand is called Skinesque. So they've simplified the 12 steps of K-Beauty and I am really excited because I'll be traveling with this. This first step is gentle foaming cleanser, then you've got the Hydra Essence, and then you have step three, which is the Aqua Sheet Mask, or you can have the brightening version. And I've used the Aqua one to test it out because I probably will bring one of each with me on my trip and it's so, so good, it's so easy. I cleanse my skin, I add the essence, I put the sheet mask on, I'm done. I, like it really truly is all I needed. There's also this Skin-esque enzyme washing powder which is very similar to the Amore Pacific enzyme exfoliant that I love and also the Tatcha one. So this one is a little bit easier to travel with I think because it's shorter than the Amore Pacific but it also has this like lid 
so it's a little bit more, um, it keeps water from getting in there a little bit more than the Tatcha one. Flower Beauty has some new mascaras. These are the Lash Warrior mascaras. Uh, Flower Beauty is available at Walmart. It's Drew Barrymore's line, so it's completely cruelty-free, made in the U.S., and no um, harmful toxic ingredients, which is great because it's affordable also and available to mass market. The Slight Curve, and it's the spiky rubberized wand, which reminds me a lot of the CoverGirl Lash Blast. I used to be obsessed with that one, so I might enjoy this one. I did just get lash extensions, so it'll be a little bit before I can test this out. And then from Flower Beauty, I have their Brow Vixen tattoo effect stain in espresso. I also have the Flower Beauty Vinyl Eyes Glossy Gel Eyeliner in a bunch of different shades. There's a green one, a brown one, a black one, and a purple one. Very creamy. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk a crap ton about this mascara already, but I love it. It came out this month. It is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Now what makes this mascara so unique is that it is 100% vegan because they don't use beeswax. Instead, they use cannabis oil as the agent to replace beeswax. Cannabis oil is vegan, it is also cruelty free this way, and the best part about cannabis oil is it is nourishing to your lashes. So a lot of times with mascaras, if you wear it every single day, you feel at the end of the week that your lashes definitely feel a little brittle, a little bit not so healthy, doesn't want to curl as much. Well, you won't get that effect with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara because it is so nourishing. It also has heart-shaped fibers instead of your traditional fibers where it kind of just starts looking a little spidery, a little messy, a little crazy. The heart-shaped fibers help build your lashes and lay perfectly to build volume around your lashes no matter how they lay. What I found great about this is the intense volume I'm able to create with this. You guys know I've been having a lot of issues with my lashes. I was actually balding and when I went to see my lash technician or I went to go visit a lash technician she almost said I can't put lash extensions on you because of your lash health so she put very minimal a few months ago on me I me to stop using an eyelash curler and to find a good serum so I've been using grande lash serum every day and then I started using the heated lash curler that she gave me to use and even though the heated lash curler doesn't get that crimp from a traditional lash curler by using the Kush mascara or the Glossier one I'm able to get the curl I want and I can do three coats of this it doesn't flake I wore this all through Arizona all through Mexico I love it if you love volume and curl this is the mascara for you now somebody asked me about the packaging this is all one piece of aluminum it's made in a car manufacturing plant in Italy and they're like, well, what's the point of that? I'm like, I don't think there's an actual point other than it's really cool, it's really special. This mascara is $24. A lot of other luxury brands charge this or more for their mascaras and don't put that much thought in their packaging. So at least when you pay $24, you're paying for the formula, but they also are making sure that you have something really pretty to put on your desk or on your vanity or pull out of your makeup bag. The brush is also really impressive because it is their, I forget, is it their plush plush brush? I'm forgetting the name of it right now. A traditional uh, fiber brush, so it's not plastic, and it does an amazing job at grabbing your lashes and pulling the product through your lashes without clumping. The only thing is I do notice I get a little extra product at the tip and I just kind of wipe it off, but all around the like main part of this brush, I have no issues with that, and this mascara is about a month old at this point. Writing on this packaging is starting to fade, but again, it's been, I, I've been using it like crazy. Now along with this very exciting Kush mascara from Milk Makeup, and don't worry, the Kush mascara does not smell like pot or weed or hemp. It just, it doesn't really have a scent. Glossier dropped a mascara as well called the Lash Slick. Oh, I love Milk Makeup, I love Glossier. Which one's gonna be better? Honestly, I would wear both for different reasons and I tried this out on camera for the first time in a recent get ready with me video that's already up. I also have been wearing it every day since until I got these in. So I tested the Milk Makeup for about a month. I've tested this out for maybe uh, almost a week. The difference with the Glossier Slick Mascara is you're going to get more of a feathery lengthening mascara effect. While Milk is definitely, it adds length, but it's more focused on volume and drama. The Glossier one, like 
Glossier does is very focused on subtleties and making sure you look wispy and very, very feathery. It's hard to explain because it looks beautiful. You have incredibly long lashes and then it's it just makes you look like um ethereal. It's very youthful. It would be like if you got half extensions, like instead of getting a full eye of extensions, you got just the outer corners and you got the like lengthening classic type of extensions versus volume. I like this. Um, it doesn't smudge on me. It is a little bit harder to remove than the Milk Makeup one. I removed it and while I was removing it, I did notice that like pieces of it was coming off. So there are fibers to this mascara and it's not a tubing mascara in the sense where you feel all of it coming off that way because some of it does melt off and some of it comes off in chunks. I just use my regular gentle cleanser to remove this and it's fine. If I want more drama and more volume, I'm gonna go with the Kush mascara. If I'm not really wearing any makeup and I just want like a little feathery effect, I'm gonna go with the Glossier Lash Slick. Depending on your moods, depending on your preferences, and just kind of like how you like your lashes to look, I think both work very, very well and I use both for different reasons. There's another new mascara on the market and this is the Lancome Monsieur Big Waterproof. Monsieur Big was launched last year and now now they have the waterproof version. So if you're a fan of the volume mascara from Lancome, now you have the waterproof version. I don't like waterproof mascaras. They aren't great for my lashes. I have very, very thin, fine lashes, and I don't like um, how I have to remove it. So I will probably throw this in the giveaway bag. If you are looking or waiting for the waterproof version, it is now available. This is the Lalalicious. Is it Lal? No, it's Lalicious. I always say this wrong. This is the Lalicious Velour Body Melt. I have sugar, lavender. So this is made with coconut oil. It's a solid, but it could melt if you're like, if it's super, super hot, but this is so luxurious. It's not just like a traditional melt because it's still kind of whipped and it smells amazing. I'm rubbing it on my knees right now. I love their body scrubs and their body whips or their body butters, but it feels like a body whip. Kevin Aquan launched some new blushes. This is the Neo Blush. And there's actually four shades, I believe, but two of them came completely shattered. And the reason I couldn't repair it with alcohol is because you'll see when I open this up, it's a ombre blush. The colors are beautiful. And what happens is that you have a lighter shade and it goes deeper. So you can swirl it or you can like have different looks in one palette. It's really, really stunning. It's unfortunate that two of them are broken, but this one is in Grapevine. And it's kind of like reminds me of a grape because it's purplish. What I love about uh, dual tone blushes or blushes that come with two shades is because we naturally flush multiple shades. Like we're not just one blush color. To achieve the most natural flush, you really do need multi-tones, like at least two different tones to create that like gradient effect as you blush. These Kevin Aquan Neo blushes are perfect to achieve that. Plus it gives you a lot of options. So this shade is in Rose Cliff. If you purchase these, just be very careful. They're very, very delicate. So that's one of those things that's like, they're so soft that you almost like don't want to use them or travel with them um, because they're so easily breakable. Vapor Beauty, which is an organic and clean beauty line available at Credo Beauty, is launching a new foundation or extending their current range and improving their formulation, is the Atmosphere Soft Focus Foundation. I have the shade S117. It's a little light for me right now, but the formula is really lovely. It's just not the right shade right now. It is really beautiful because it's not oily or greasy. It blends really nicely onto the skin and it has a light coverage, but it, it just like smooths everything out and it's toxic free and clean. So if you're looking for something like that, I think you'll really, really enjoy this foundation. Along with that, they have the Atmosphere Luminous Foundation in the shade 117. We have this in my correct shade over there in my drawer. I forget what shade I actually am, but again, this is a little bit too light for me, um, which is unfortunate, but I love this stuff. It's a great dupe for the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation for a cleaner alternative. And their products perform really well. They also gave me the concealer. This is their Illusionist, Illusionist Concealer. And I've been wanting to test this out. Way came out with a Sun of a Beach Ombre Spray. This I thought was really kind of fun. I don't know if everyone did this, but I remember I wanted highlights so bad in middle school, but my mom was like, no, you don't, you can't dye your hair, no. It's, it was like a, such a naughty thing to do. 
So I remember going to the drugstore and buying Sun In and using Sun In in my hair. Like I drench my hair and like sit in the backyard and hope that my hair would get lighter. And I also remember doing lemon, we chop up lemons and like soak our hair in lemon and like try and like lighten our color. This is a refined adult, more effective way of doing that. I will not test this out because I really like my color, but if you wanted like a nice lightening of the hair color, if you're blonde or if you are a brunette and you just want a little bit of that subtle sun-kissed glow, I think this might work. Um, I've seen great results on Instagram. I am not going to try it myself because I don't want to mess up my hair color. When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this totally reminds me of my childhood. And I think if I didn't spend so much money getting my hair colored, I would totally try this out. I might actually just throw this in the giveaway. Clever FX has a new finishing spray or setting spray. It's the Dewy Finish and this stuff, oh, um, I love the spray because I can't feel it. It doesn't do that splotchy stuff. So the spray is really great. And if you watch me get ready using this, I was like, I don't feel anything. And I kept spraying, spraying, spraying. And then like an hour later, I was like, wow, I'm really dewy. A little goes a long way. And just because you don't feel it doesn't mean it's not happening. Because when I was editing, I was like, wow, I'm spraying so much on my face, but I didn't feel it because it distributes perfectly. See how fine that mist is? That's beautiful. That's how setting sprays should spray. But I'm so used to having like wetness that I was like going crazy with it. This is a really great sprayer. And I love the pack. Um, I love the product itself for that like no powdery, very dewy look. Ellen and Getz launched a new eye cream. This is the Revitalizing Eye Gel, and I just love their stuff because it's unisex. And I just love the founders. They're so sweet, and it's really lightweight. Doesn't have any weird fragrances, and it's super super hydrating and cooling. And I love the packaging because it comes in a pump. I had no idea that Violet was launching a collection with Estee Lauder. Violet underscore FR on YouTube and Instagram. She is like goals. Aesthetically, makeup wise, just cool girl. She's so cool. But she has a collection at Estee Lauder. I think a lot of it is sold out, but hopefully they'll restock. I got ready using this palette. It's absolutely stunning. It's really beautiful. It's very neutral, but different with the cranberry pressed pigment. And you can do so many things with it, but it's so, so gorgeous. I love these eyeshadows. I really feel like Estee Lauder color doesn't get enough credit. Recently, they, with the Victoria Beckham collaboration and with Violet, I think the quality of their products are really phenomenal. And then this one I haven't tried yet. This is the Blush Duo. We've got two lipsticks in the collection. There's a really beautiful red and then this poppy shade or yeah, it's pop, you know, posies shade. And I love the posy shade for every day. And then this beautiful cranberry red is so gorgeous. This is Vin Noir. Then there's this eyeshadow crayon, which is called the Deluxe Eye Crayon. I brought this with me on vacation because it was really easy to use. I just put it all over my lid and smudged it in. And we've got this gorgeous liquid lipstick. This does not budge. You put it on, it will not move. Soft glow for lips and cheeks. I brought this with me on vacation as well. And it just creates this really beautiful glowy dewy look. Um, it doesn't really have too much of a color. It's just this really pretty gloss. So healthy when you put it on your cheekbones and your lips. And you can even kind of put it on your eyes. If you're at the pool, you get that glossy effect. Night Beauty has some more colors coming out in their agave lip mask. I swear by the lip agave mask. Agave lip mask. Um, I use it every night. I've gone through so many tubes of the original formula and I'm currently using the dark brown one. And then there's the lavender one. There is this champagne-y one. And then there's this like rose pink one. So these are also pretty. These are also pretty. Lofer Cosmetics is launching some of these new liquid eyeshadow bossy eyes. These are so fun, especially for summer because you just get this beautiful sheer metallic or you can build it up and get a really beautiful um, metallic look all over the lid. And they're really lightweight. They dry down and then they don't budge. So if you guys want to shop Ofra Cosmetics, I have 30% off. Just use my name at checkout, Serene30. Urban Decay launched the new beached eyeshadow palette, which I just am dying to play with because it is so beachy and summery and beautiful. I feel like it's different, but still has enough 
neutral shades for me to play with and work with and the blues are so pretty and I'm loving these like reddish browns and bronzes. Laura Lee came out with her second cosmetics product and this is the Nudie Patootie eyeshadow palette. I haven't had a chance to fully play with this palette yet. I did use one of the matte shades as a base color and it was really good. Um, I love that she improved the packaging. I think it's definitely a lot sleeker, a lot more mature in a good way, and the mirror has been improved quite a bit. There's no uh, roses around it where it can be kind of um, cluttery. So I think she did a really excellent job in terms of design. I think the eyeshadow range is really fun. Um, just on basic swatching, I think they're really creamy, very, very pigmented very smooth, very easy to go on, especially the matte ones. I was quite impressed with Undressed. That was the one I was using. I've been talking about this quite a bit on stories as well as my other videos. This is the Kula Sun Silk Drops. I love this stuff. I'm not usually a huge fan of chemical SPFs. I do like Korean and Japanese SPFs because I feel like those chemical SPFs are not as irritating. They're definitely a lot lighter weight and they don't have weird scents or finishes. The Kula one is very similar to the my favorite ones from Korea and Japan and this one just works really really well underneath makeup because it doesn't feel greasy, it absorbs right in. You can mix it with your daily moisturizer or you can wear it alone. I wear it alone over my moisturizer. Um, it's just so good. If you don't like SPF, I feel like you'll like this one. Chris hates SPF because he hates the way it feels and he likes this one and he's like how do they make it feel this good all the SPFs you give me always feel gr like thick and gross and blah, blah, blah. and I was like I... and he has really really sensitive skin. Sicily Paris has some new hydrating products this is the Hydra Global line and this is the hydration intense for anti-aging and then this is the serum that goes with it so I believe you put the serum on first and then you put this on. I love Sicily Paris they make really good effective skincare. Too Faced has the natural face palette. I'm sure you've seen this all over Instagram. I love the highlight, this one, Satin Sheets. I think it's really natural, pretty highlight. And I also really like Pink Wink. This is a really poppy blush that I don't normally wear, but I love wearing it because I feel more like youthful with it. Fake Beauty has some new bronzing bricks. I actually brought Joshua Tree with me on vacation. I wore this all over my face just to warm up my face and I have a get ready with me on vacation and I use this. It's awesome. I love it. Joshua Tree is my favorite shade out of the three. There also is Tows, which is a little bit deeper and readier, readier, reddisher. And then there is Marfa, which is a pretty like, almost like a terracotta shade. So these are definitely really, really beautiful. They, they can be built up, but you can also share them out and they look gorgeous on the cheeks. These aren't out yet, I don't think. I keep looking on the Make website and I haven't seen them yet, but these are the new Moon Sticks. And this is in Moonbeam, which I brought with me on my vacation. I just put it on my cheekbones and on my Cupid's bow. This is in Sharon, which is a really pretty contour bronze shade. You could sheer it out and make it more of like a bronzer. And then this is Moon Dust, which is my favorite because it's that like champagne-y shade. A new to me skincare line called Allies of Skin. This is their Molecular Multi-Nutrient Day Cream. And what really impressed me is that this is free of parabens, phthalates, silicone, sulfates, synthetic dyes, mineral oil, synthetic fragrances, triclosan, genetically modified organisms. That's a lot. It's free of a lot of stuff. And then it comes in a pump. No fragrance very lightweight and absorbs rather quickly. Really nice. Physicians Formula launched a limited edition butter collections palette and this is available exclusive at Walmart. I love this. It's a great value. I love that they're doing this because you know a lot of the times with these limited edition collections they're only available at Sephora or Ulta and that can be a little pricier and they really created a beautiful limited edition palette for those who are a little bit more on a budget but still want to you know have some fun with makeup got this beautiful butter bronzer you've got the blush and natural glow you've also got two limited edition highlight shades you've got the full moon and you've got galactic and then you've got the butter paradise perfume i wanted to share with you guys this new brand called seed phytonutrients they're doing some amazing things to make sure that not only are the ingredients and the products sourced ethically paying fair wages to farmers, but also
also they are making all of their packaging sustainable, eco-friendly. It's either bi it's all biodegradable or recyclable. It's also made from uh, recycled material. I just think it's really innovative. I love the packaging, even though it's a functional purpose. It's also aesthetically pleasing to me. They have all the basics. They have conditioner, shampoo, facial cleanser. They have a a hand salve which I absolutely love this tube and they also have a body lotion which is on my bathroom counter right now I'm testing that one out and they have a lightweight face lotion their lightweight face lotion comes like this they also have an anti-aging face serum all of the products are toxic free cruelty free and just really clean ingredients Lastly, I have some LA Girl Luminous Glow products. These are the skin illuminators. They come in three shades. You've got Afterglow, Sunlit, and Moonlit. So these remind me a lot of the more higher end versions as well as the L'Oreal ones. And then you've got some powder ones as well. These are loose powders, really affordable uh, highlight options out there. So that is everything I have to share with you in terms of new and beauty for May. And as promised, here's a sneak peek of what's in this bag. It's not gonna be everything in here. I'm just gonna grab a couple things to show with you, share with you. I'm throwing in the way sun spray, most are big waterproof, makeup wipes from Garnier, Allen and Getz, vitalizing eye gel. I've also got their travel sampler, which is one of my favorites. Their grapefruit face cleanser is so good and then the vitamin E face moisturizer. Derma Blend powder, Dr. Obagi Zo Skin Health products in here, Low Skin Care, there's just a ton of stuff in here. That's just a sneak peek. So how do you enter for the giveaway? If you're new to my channel, this is how. If you aren't new, you know the drill, but basically make sure you're subscribing to this channel. Then head over to my blog, serenewoo.com. Sign up for my newsletter over on my blog. You'll have to fill in your email address and your first name, and you'll have to confirm that you signed up for my newsletter. And I promise you, I won't spam you. The newsletter is just so that I can email the giveaway winners and let you guys know when there's a new giveaway coming up every month. If you'd like more emails from me, basically whenever I have a new blog post, which again, isn't very often, it's like once a week at most, most, when you confirm that you're subscribed to my email list slash newsletter, you'll get another email asking you what you want to be signed up for. If you'd like to be signed up for anything additional like daily blog post notifications slash new blog post notifications or things like that. Just click on every link that you're interested in signing up for. This way I know not to send you emails you don't want. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to my blog. Subscribe to my newsletter. That is it. Go to the blog post that is for this video and enter your information in the Gleam widget. Gleam is a website that I pay for to run my giveaways so that they're fair and that it captures the data and there's no spamming and that you're a real person. So I pay for that platform. Um, if there's any issues, email them. If you have trouble entering, email them, contact them. I pay for this service so that you guys can do that. In that blog post, there'll be the Gleam widget. It'll say enter giveaway here or enter here. You'll go through all the steps and at the end of the giveaway, which will be listed in the giveaway page when the giveaway ends and how, when I will notify giveaway winners. After I contact the giveaway winner via email, they have 24 hours to reply and confirm that they know that they want and give me their shipping address so I can ship them the prize. If they don't confirm with me after 24 hours, I pick a new winner. So sometimes I don't announce the winners right away because I'm still picking winners. So be patient. Read all of the information on the giveaway. It tells you how long the giveaway is open till, it tells you when the winners will be contacted, it tells you how to find out who won, it tells you how everything's gonna be shipped, it gives you all the information. Please don't email me, message me, or comment asking me who the winner is or how to enter um, or that I should enter you. Those are just some like housekeeping things about the giveaways. But yes, giveaways open for a month and then every month I do a new one for my subscribers as a thank you for supporting my blog and supporting my YouTube channel. Make sure you also check me out on in Instagram. I'm giving away big boxes of beauty products every week right now. Until next time, I'll see you guys back here every Tuesday and every Sunday for new videos here on this channel. If you like travel vlogs and lifestyle videos, check out my second channel, 
more serene. Everything is linked in the description box. And of course, I do bonus uploads currently right now this month. I have so much content to put up. So make sure you turn on post notifications so you know whenever I upload a new video. And of course, just check me out over on Instagram because I'll let you guys know when there's a new video as well over on stories. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Have a lovely week and I will see you guys back here in my next video. Bye.